For n behavior of a polynomial, to determine it, you look at its leading term. Because the power of the leading term is the highest, the term will grow significantly faster than the other terms as x gets very large, so its behavior ends up dominating. For any polynomial function, the end behavior of the polynomial will match the end behavior of the leading term. This is why it's so important to be able to figure out what that leading term is. So let's look at some examples of this. If we have this polynomial function, you can see that the leading term of it is 5x to the fourth. Again, that leading term is the term with the highest exponent when we're looking at it in standard form. So 5x to the fourth, this coefficient is positive. x to the fourth means we're dealing with an even powered function. So if we're positive, we're happy. We're dealing with an even powered, it's gonna look like a smiley face, like a u. Let's look at what the graph of this entire function ends up looking like. And you can see the end behavior as your x's are getting large or really small, your function's going up. And as your x's get really large, your function's also going up. Let's look at some more examples. Negative 2x to the 6th minus x to the 5th plus 3x to the 4th plus x cubed. So in this case, our leading term is a negative 2x to the 6th. So that power function has an e, or a negative coefficient and we're of an even power. Going back to that slide where we talked about n behavior of power functions, when that k value, when that value and coefficient is negative, it ends up, and we're dealing with an even powered function, your n behavior should look like this, like a sad face. So as your x values are approaching negative infinity, your function's going towards negative infinity, and as your x values are approaching positive infinity, your function values are going towards negative infinity as well. So let's see what the graph of this entire function looks like. And again, you can see here the end behavior matches exactly with what we said. f of x equals 3x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. So here our leading term is 3x to the fifth. So this is an odd powered function and we have a positive k value. Going back to that page on n behavior of power functions, we should look like this. So as our x's are approaching negative infinity, your function should be going towards negative infinity. And as your x values are approaching positive infinity, your function should also be approaching positive infinity. Let's see what happens with the graph of this whole function. And you can see this holds true. On the left-hand side, we're going towards negative infinity, and on the right-hand side, we're going towards positive infinity. Some more examples. f of x equals negative 6x cubed plus 7x squared plus 3x plus 1. Leading term, negative 6x cubed. All right, so this is an odd power function, and we have a negative coefficient, so that means it's going to look like this for the end behavior. So as our x's are approaching negative infinity, your function should be going towards positive infinity. And as our x values are approaching positive infinity, your function should be going towards negative infinity. Let's see if this is true for this entire graph. Yep, you can see on the left-hand side I'm going towards positive, and on the right-hand side I'm going towards negative. This really helps us to be able to sketch the graphs of these polynomials. For more on end behavior, click this link right here. Let's put this all together. Given the function f of x equals negative 3x squared times the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 4, express the function as a polynomial in standard form and determine the leading term, degree, and end behavior of the function. So to put this into standard form, the first thing we need to do is factor it out or expand it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually multiply x minus 1 times x plus 4. So when I do that, I get x times x, which is x squared, 
x times 4, which is plus 4x, negative 1 times x, which is negative x, and negative 1 times positive 4, which is negative 4. Now I'll simplify what's inside of the parentheses. So I get x squared plus 3x minus 4. And then I can distribute that negative 3x squared through. Negative 3x to the fourth minus 9x to the third plus 12x squared. So we can see here we have this now in standard form. Once it's in standard form, answering the rest of these questions won't be that difficult. So the leading term, again, that leading term is the term with the highest exponent. Highest exponent is this one, so it's negative 3x to the fourth power. The degree is 4. The degree is the highest exponent. And for n behavior, the n behavior of a polynomial is will always be the same as the n behavior of its leading term. So in this case, we stated the leading term is negative 3x to the fourth. So that's going to be an even powered function. So that means it's either going to be opening up on both directions or opening down on both directions. And to figure out what that is, we look at that leading coefficient. So that coefficient is negative 3. So that means we're going to be going a frowny face or going over towards negative infinity on either side. So we can represent the end behavior in two different ways. So I always say that it, it will behave like y equals negative 3x to the fourth because it'll behave like its leading term, which means that as x is approaching positive or negative infinity, your function is going to be approaching negative infinity like what we drew here. You could also draw a picture, which I like to do no matter what, just because that helps me when I go to actually graph this function to know what should happen on either side.